powerful Mexican drug cartel has allegedly taken responsibility for the kidnapping of four Americans and the killing of two of them. So the so-called Gulf cartel apparently sent a letter apologizing for the killings and saying it has turned over the members who are responsible to the police. Here's ABC's Derek Dennis with the details. A dramatic image out of Matamoros, Mexico. Five men found tied up near a pickup truck in the same area where the abduction of four Americans took place. A handwritten note on the truck's windshield claiming to be from the Gulf Cartel saying we have decided to deliver those involved and directly responsible. And it's not of any surprise that they are under a lot of pressure to put this behind them and try to uh, distance themselves as best they can. The abduction on March 3rd was called on camera. Four days later, after an urgent search, Latavia McGee and Eric James Williams were found alive inside this wooden shack outside of town. The bodies of their friends, Shaid Woodard and Zindel Brown, found at the same location. Their remains were returned to the U.S. overnight. He was my baby, you know, he, and for him to be taken from me like that, um, it was... It was very, very hurtful. Multiple Mexican law enforcement sources tell ABC News the cartel note is believed to be legitimate, but neither ABC News nor U.S. officials have been able to verify the authenticity of the letter. Senator Lindsey Graham says he plans to introduce new legislation to fight these cartels. Drug cartels in Mexico have been terrorizing Americans for decades. We're going to destroy their business model and their lifestyle because our national security and the security of the United States as a whole depends on us taking decisive action. Mexican authorities are still investigating these five men to determine if they were in fact involved in these kidnappings. Derek Dennis, ABC News, New York.